With the turn of the calendar to a new year, that means we're just a few weeks away from the start of the spring calving operations for those uh, operations here in Oklahoma that do most of their calving starting around the 1st of February and into March. And I think this is a good time to refresh our memories about what goes on during, first of all, a normal calving so that then we can identify when there might be potential problems that we need to help that particular cow or heifer with. We divide the calving process, big word parturition, into three different stages. Stage one is that that occurs, you know, the scientists say, anywhere from two to 24 hours prior to the actual delivery of the calf. The key things that are happening during stage one, number one is the dilation of the cervix. And just due to some hormonal changes that are taking place to this cow or heifer prior to calving, then the relaxation of that cervix and it has to be dilated before that calf is going to be delivered. Some other things that'll take place during stage one, of course, are in many instances, there'll be some behavioral changes to that cow or the heifer. It'll be the one that'll begin to isolate herself away from the rest of the herd. Uh, she may show some twitching of the tail, kicking at the belly, uh, just some general dis discomfort. Now, some of these cattle will never have those behavioral changes, but th that's something that you can watch for. Something else at stage one that I think is key to uh, really evaluating when a cow or heifer is about to calve is due to, again, some hormonal changes. There will be some softening or some relaxation of the pelvic ligaments, those right around the tailhead. If you see some sinking or some softening of those ligaments, that's a pretty good clue that uh, stage one's about to end and stage two is about to take over and that's the delivery of the calf. Stage two, we say, begins when we first see the appearance of a water bag or the baby calf's feet and stage two ends when the calf is totally delivered and out on the ground. Stage two, through the years, I think has been misunderstood in terms of the length of time. Some of our old textbooks would say it's two to four hours in length on average. No, that's not right. Research has shown us pretty clearly that stage two is going to happen to a first calf heifer in about an hour if everything is going to go well. In the case of the adult cow that's had calves before, it's only about a half of an hour. So we want to keep that in mind. If we see the uh, uh, cow that's got a water bag or baby calf's feet, if it's a first calf heifer, uh, she should calve in about an hour. If it's a mature cow, only about 30 minutes. Stage three of calving is that uh, part is the releasing of the placenta, the afterbirth, so, or some people call it the cleaning of the cow. Stage three should be done in at least 12 hours after the del delivery of the calf. After that, we call it a retained placenta. Some things to keep in mind in this situation if the cow hasn't completely cleaned in 12 hours, resist the temptation to getting her up in the chute and actually pulling on that uh, re retained placenta. You'll do more damage to the lining of the uterus and perhaps uh, be detrimental to her future ability to become pregnant. Uh, visit with your local veterinarian. If you have the situation where a cow has a retained afterbirth, there will probably be some prescriptions involved uh, antibiotics may help in terms of letting that cow or heifer go ahead and clean that retained placenta on her own. I think that you want to remember these three stages of calving so that you can watch for them and understand what's going to happen uh, in a normal birth. I also would encourage you to go online and you can go to the SUNUP website. That's sunup.okstate.edu. Under show links, we're gonna put a link to the pamphlet we call Calving Management for Beef Cows and Heifers. It's an excellent, uh, I think, uh, publication that we put together a number of years ago that'll help you understand what's going on with these cows and heifers at calving time, even those that are having uh, some kind of a difficult birth and you need to give some assistance. I think if you'll read that ahead of time, it'll help you during this calving season. We look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.